Innovative art practices in Yugoslavia and consequently Croatia particularly marked the 70s. Many important developments in this field are characterized by the use of new media, especially photography, by a change in the understanding of the notion of an artwork and the specific social engagement that artists displayed. Although the examples singled out in this presentation at first glance appear ordinary, uninteresting or even boring, many of them comment on the uh, social political reality and the circumstances in, in which the artists develop their strategies. The post-war history of conceptual photography in Croatia can be explained in the continuous line starting from the late 50s, which consists of the series on the individual events. Allow me to mention some of them. Short-term publishing project, as was, for instance, Spot, the specialized photography magazine launched at the time of major changes in art. Then activity of the galleries, like the Tseft or the Tosho Dabats archives, as examples of short-lasting exhibition venues where a parallel gallery activity was going on, as mentioned by Davor Maticevic, one of the most prominent curators in contemporary art, especially photography. Exactly to these individual events, my lecture is dedicated. Early proto-conceptual uh, proto developments allow us to reflect on how the camera was used as a tool. Thanks to this tool, photography could, among other things, function as a medium through which information was communicated. It functioned as an instrument to which the various artistic strategies were created, whose origins did not necessarily lie in the medium of photography. In the context of radical modernism, the so-called Gorgona photography is characterized by special approach consisting of processual, critical, and ironical making up for something that was at the same time ridiculed and longed for. Photography is one of the way they trans, uh, transgressed from the rational uh, into the absurd of everyday banalities, characterized by emptiness and silence remaining after some event. We link the Gorgona appearances with nihilism and questioning of social norms they detach themselves from by walking in the nature or through the city streets. The common experiment of living has been photographically verified several times, and we might conclude that this is a constructive way of self-organizing and self-institutionalizing activity at which they participated with stage photographs. Very early on, Gorgona was characterized by representing an alternative concept of art, extending it into existential areas of life an approach that long remained confined to a small circle. The mythical status of this group, whose members are connected by existentialist philosophy, spaces of isolation and quietness, as well as by intellectual contemplation on nothing, has been achieved by subversive activity within the framework of the dominant ideology of that time, beyond the boundaries delineated by politicians, institutions, and other players on the official scene. Gorgona is often mentioned as a proto-conceptual uh, group that anticipated art practices of the 70s, such as the book as artwork, the art of behavior, language as the medium, and art uh, as idea, among other things. And their impact on photography especially on the conceptual scene in the 70s, should not be bypassed. They often photographed their participation in certain situations. For instance, an ordinary meeting held at the Faculty of Architecture in Zagreb. In the context of photography, the image of an empty shop window replicated nine times in the first issue of the Gorgona magazine from 1961, can be counted among their most explicit proto-conceptual works. The windows, a window was photographed according to Josef Vanishta instructions while on the walk with press photographer Pavel Cizik. 
The frame was evidently altered, elongated and adjusted to the shop window in terms of format. Somewhere in the center of the scene, whose axis is minimally shifted to the right, the shallow shop window is detached from the interior by a light colored partition, probably a curtain. The unusual stand with four horizontal shelves is empty, and it is impossible to assume what kind of merchandise, uh, merchandise was displayed there. The small white spot might perhaps be a price tag, but listing details does not actually contribute to understanding of the scene. Only the textual explanation along, along with the uncropped documentary photograph <clears throat> from which the segments originates indicates that this is an old modest second-hand store, uh, second store displaying an atmosphere typical of that period in Zagreb. In the documentary footage displaying the shop, we can notice a number of details which contribute to gaining deeper insight into the circumstances which captured Vanishta's attention. In addition to the empty shelves, there is a vase with free flowers and a lamp haphazardly placed in the uh, other part of the shop window, thus creating a, sur a surreal and completely unappealing uh, composition. The composition is, is rounded out by the inscriptions Unusual America, which is seen here on the plate, and the particular mixture of the rural and urban clothing and the body language of the woman filmed from the back upon entering the shop, as well as the unkept, almost dilapidated owning, given a fin final finish to the ironic com commentary on the entire scenes from which the above mentioned detail is isolated and reduplicated. In a few of uh, their actions and works dating from the early 60s, it is possible to recognize the visual translation of the meaningless and the absurd as oft mentioned strategies in the context of conceptual art. The collage Thoughts for April depicts the photographs of the headless man taken from the newspaper. The space is minimally marked by the line of the lawn in the background. Nothing is happening. The word replaces the image, as I was once told by Josip Vanishta. The work title suggests contemplation, yet the man in the suit is headless and the marche à pied is literally reduced to the mechanical step by step. Documentation of one of their foremost, uh, of, uh, mo most known performances, Adoration, were taken by Branko Balic, and it is thanks to these pictures that the atmosphere of one of their delusive actions held in a small artistic circle was preserved. Balic was close to Gorgona and documented several of their actions and portraits. His photographs preserved the atmosphere of an action held as a homage to the painter Julia Kniefer, whose exhibition was taking place at the Gallery of Contemporary Art in Zagreb. It consisted of the play with a head, kissing Kniefer's hands, lifting a top hat into the air, and the group members posing for photographs. When directed by Gorgona, however, the ceremony was held without an audience and only for the camera. In this way, they poked fun at the social ritual of the exhibition, as well as the position of the artist himself. The top hat and the kissing of hands speak of the status that the many artists desired and which the members of the group always refused to accept. It was their way of achieving pleasure in life through humor, thereby momentarily triumphing over the rest of society, reflecting the neo Dada spirit. The photograph was taken immediately after the New Year's festivities. Vanishta recalls his fellow members and himself mocking the program merriment, which everyone is expected to express during those days. Since it was formed in an urban surrounding and marked by certain aspects of social and cultural reality, Croatian segment of conceptual art represents, I quote, an alternative to the crisis of modernist art, end of quote, by Mishko Šuvankovic. 
The examples considered in this presentation illustrate the specific cultural, social, and political atmosphere that was dominated Croatia since the 60s. Situation in photography since mid-60s can be problematized in the context of the new art practice, an informal group of artists who began to examine the meaning and purpose of their activity. Art became an open field in which the phenomena of everyday culture, society, politics, and economy were equally explored in photography, film, video, performances, actions, installations, and interventions. It is a particularly interesting period in the context of photography, and it is not easy to define it because conceptual art practice has shown a certain level of disobedience. Its authors very self assuredly use different media, choosing mostly the ones that at the particular moment in the most direct way, often also the simplest way, mediated, uh, mediated their ideas. Conceptual art strategies condition the process of the change of meaning and understanding of photography, while the authors were interested in particular aspects of photography. For instance, processuality, experiment, seriality, installation, as well as ways of expression whose aim was not to show that which is usually considered the true essence of photogra photographic art or commonplaces, like the decisive moment. Peter Dabat's involvement with, uh, involvement with photography started in the 60s in the, in the atelier of his uncle, the renowned photographer Tosho Dabats. His work, which was created in the period of, uh, uh, of over half the century, shows him, uh, shows, shows him to be a versatile art, artist with endless curiosity and love for photography. In the second half of the 60s, he began to shoot organic forms of water drops. They precede the stains, occasional play with matter that can be connected into the consistent cycle originating primary from the urge to be playful. This period brought a series of collages, a material assembled into photo comics of erotic content of anecdotes observed in city streets. They are photographic consequences of his rebellious character, often finished by hand and su uh, supplemented by drawings and painted. During the 70s, he experimented with photographs. Their characteristic is investigation and questioning of the two-dimensionality of the photograph, because as noted by Radoslav Putar, a critic and one of the founders of the legendary spot photographic magazine, I quote, Peter Davids feel, feels very uncomfortable with norms and set canons, so that a homogeneous flat classical photographic surface is not sufficient for him, end of quote. After he mastered the technical aspects of the medium and the compositional style of the 60s under the mentorship of Tosho Dabats in the 70s, he became one of the key figures in the area of innovative artistic practices. He was researching the possibilities of deconstruction and reconstruction of the photographic image, the reinvention into the photographic material, playing with the ambientalization and spatialization of the photography, as well as researching the fringes of the medium in general. Although photograms, among other things, can be read as ornamental structures, the author <clears throat> primary remain focused on the non-representational photograph approach to photography, dependent on the inner patterns of the medium. From this period, uh, also date the photocopies of photographs intervened on by paint. In a similar way, we also perceive the works, um, for instance, a box of exposed photo paper and end of the film shown in the, uh, on the recent exhibition, My Reconning with Photography. These elementary and sequential works establish a relation uh, to the uh, experiments from the 70s, the context of non-representational photography, which Dabats explained as a, and I quote, desire for the existence of an invisible camera as a possible tool for documenting clips of reality, end of quote which in the end he has read of identity by creating almost abstract, non-thematic depictions. 
And to remind on the parallel gallery activities uh, I mentioned uh, before, Dabac is important as a cultural worker. Uh, after the death of Tosho Dabac, he took over his atelier, which functioned as a gallery specialized for photography under the name uh, Ar uh, Ar Archive TD, Archive TD. Tede, Tede meaning Tosho Dabac, from 1978 to 1998. Within the new art practice circle, Goran Trbuljak can be considered as a practitioner who critically questioned the role of art in society and its deep-rooted systems. At the very beginning of his career in the late 60s and early 70s, Trbuljak explored the <clears throat> Uh, existential questions of being an artist. Insightful, intelligent, and inclined to self-irony, Terbuljak has, from the very early on, demonstrated his analytical skills, skepticism, and the sense of humor, which we will notice in his practice uh, until today. In the national context, Terbuljak's artistic contribution is also important because he is perceived as the direct successor of Gorgona poetics. Trbuljak is sensitive to the non-representative depictions that he encounters in everyday life. He combines ordinary, even banal motifs, freely explores different media and changes the context in order to transform their meaning. Squatting in a vacant apartment and temporarily transforming into an art studio was a part of his complex con conceptual strategy of questioning the meaning of the exhibition space, the artist's role and position, as well as his social relevance. The photograph recorded in the medieval Lotus Chuck Tower in Zagreb, <clears throat> which he broke into and used as an art studio for several days, reveal the unusual and occasionally absurd vistas and reflect the author's skepticism and analytical approach, softened to humor and irony. In the photo series, Four Houses at Rock of Perivoy and One Nearby, Terbuljak dealt with the working condition of artists as well as with the problem of their working space. He photographed urban villas, the homes of the distinguished artist in Rock of Perivoy, a high class district in Zagreb, thereby tackled by a structural issue of artistic production in the time of socialism, doing this with an inevitable humoristic approach. Beneath each of the five black and white photographs that show these houses, the artist wrote an explanation. In this house lives my peer and namesake. His mother, a painter, has had a large number of independent exhibitions all over the world. Her works have mostly been presented in our diplomatic missions, consulates and embassies. Or, I remember the period between 1955 and 1964, when my class went to visit a house that has just been built by a famous sculptor. I was not familiar with his sculptures back then, and for a long time afterwards, uh, the house lingered in my memory as, one, as the only sculpture that he had ever made. Even years later, having become acquainted with his work, my perception remained the same. For me, the house really appeared to be the only sculpture he ever made. He focuses on objective reality, on prosaic, de prosaic details from which he then distances himself with the help of ironic statements. A number of his work are marked by a specific humor, utilizing self-conscious irony to examine his position and perception of himself as an artist. The series End from 1970 is a procedural game which explores the relationship to a living creature through a self-reflexing confessional form. The photographs show an uneven surface of the wall and a marked space where he killed an ant with a typed inscription underneath saying, I killed an ant. I killed another ant. I killed an ant because of art. I killed an, uh, an ant without a reason. I killed an ant because it gave me a dirty look. In a certain way, his work appears to be destabilizing within the system itself, leaving individuals feeling insecure in his artistic context, 
which is neither descriptive nor pictorial. Vlado Matek is one of the representative of the conceptual art practice, the so-called, as we said already, new art practice, and member of the group of six artists, authors, whose members were in the 70s among the first artists to question the issue of public space and public opinion, as well as critically examine the institutional frames of the art system and art production. The first steps in producing photographs at the lab Back, <clears throat> reach back to the late 60s. And I quote, I was always fascinated by photography, even as a kid, and I lived with photography, the plain one. The Moore's death, and um, Boris de Moore was conceptual artist and also uh, Martek's friend, was a photo retoucher. So I went every day and watched his old man retouching the photos. That was the entry. My friends were photographers. Jerman was a photographer in his own way. The Stilinovich brothers were photographers. A friend who, <clears throat> whom I knew from the primary school had a small photo lab and, the, uh, and at the age of 15 developed photographs by him, himself. And he also had a Rolleiflex. We often made photos of ourselves and so came the fascination with the emergence of the photo and the red light from entering the photo lens. End of quote. In Martek's archive, the material is classified in various way and even mixed. There are no stable chronological re uh, relations. Artworks are pulled out from the warrior's places and laid down again in visible excitement. The artist uh, interprets every single uh, work vigorously, remembering all the circumstances that preceded it or led him to continue exploring within the particular area. Most Polaroid prints can be <clears throat> interpreted without hesitation as documentation of performances, but Martek subjects <clears throat> everything to his own classification, even though Polaroid prints were less than really, uh, really available in those times, primarily because of the price. Enchantment with the technique that enabled an almost instantaneous insight into the perceived is evident. Martek himself mentioned the fascination with speed, the possibility to check the performance with the help of objective shots less than a minute after the event. In May 1978 in Venice, the Polaroid print write its name on each thing you possess or buy was produced. On the one hand, it may be included in the category of documentation of his so-called agitations, actions of naming in which he addressed the public frontally, personally, appearing in image and word, mainly in public space. A certain amount of cynicism is also evident in Martek's naming, in his reminders of everyday life, the reality that also consists of completely trivial things that we hardly pay attention to. At some point, while we were preparing Martek's exhibition at the Spot Gallery uh, in Zagreb in 2016, he told me that he usually first had a text about photography and only afterwards he would start with the shooting. He called it preparing for photography. Apparently, in every subsequent uh, conversation that we had, there was more and more that he, uh, that he uh, associated with photographs. And I quote, Photograph as a material, an object, a fetish, family photograph. Photograph as an action, a fetish and the object at the same time. Photograph as a background, an assemblage, a collage. Photograph as a medium, a stage photograph. Photograph as an actual portrait, photograph as a document. Photograph as a medium, photograph as, uh, of conceptualist change. Preparing for photography cutting a slit in a photograph in order to reach some other reality or break up with automa uh, automation. Photograph as a paper implying materiality, background, fetish, medium, document." End of quote. When the artist himself very precisely indicates the, ter uh, the territory of his activity, it is challenged to say something new and different, to connect or discern strategies in order to make a step forward compared to what has already been said. In that sense, 
sense, a, loca uh, a collocation, a cut through the photograph remind me uh, um, uh, um, remind me all that uh, Lucio Fontana accomplished by cutting the canvas, evoking that an artwork does not end with uh, within the two-dimensional surface, since it's, among other things, defined by space and time, the cuts through which they flow. I find something similar in Martek's uh, photographs. Owing to these uh, cuts, we get to know um, the yet unknown and invisible segments and relationships in which the meaning resides. We encounter them unexpectedly in the procedures of combining photographs with other materials, which we may not necessarily associate with the mediums. Photographs from various phases of life Youthful uh, gatherings, then those from the period after uh, becoming a father, combined with the shots of the other people, uh, mostly unknown to us, are collaged with segments of cardboard boxes or film and photo paper that he used at the time. In another, in another example, a, uh, a black and white photograph of two Romanesque towers, mostly, uh, most probably Italian, is merely a base to which he attached a thin aluminum string bean blade. Its origins are known to us and we remain confused with this unusual combination, trying to understand the artist's visual puzzles. Some are easier to grasp, <clears throat> an assemblage combining his flyers with exhibition posters of other artists and the standard tool of the pre-poet, a regular wooden pencil. These photographic assemblages are intriguing, especially since they are not so common in contemporary practice as three-dimensional objects. Of course, it is possible to establish a link with Dadaism, as well as Rauschenberg art, as he reached for the variety of subjects completely unburdened within the medium. Um, Martek's, um, Martek's practice, however, uh, pr particularly his photographs, evade such association. Uh, uh, perhaps it is best characterized as minor photography prone to experimenting with the medium, which it leads almost to the edge by questioning the dominant codes of representation. Owing to such a procedure, the medium no longer serves slow, uh, solely to represent something, but enters the social layers by different methods, destructions, reveals, um, punctures, cuts, collages, and so on. Jelko Jerman is a representative of elementary impoverished uh, photography as a, also a member of the group of six artists. Which, uh, work, uh, which, uh, which works featured at the exhibition New Photography One and in the Spot magazine, he was an uh, uh, authentic participant of the scene, which he marked with his exaggeration in the public space, negation of the media, and even with the insolent methods of annulling photographic norms. You, uh, Jermann truly uh, did transgress all the limits of dominant classical norms. The surfaces of his works are unclean, even dredged. There is an utter disregard for the composition, while the technical means have been reduced to their elementary in, uh, ingredients, literally poured down on the surface of the so uh, photosensitive paper. His photography embodies existential angst, verbalized in the brink of vulgarity and poetry, and at times realized in the public space, which act as the stage for conducting a series of conceptual uh, studies. Željko Borčić, artistic activity is defined by the uh, physical, spiritual, intellectual personality, personality structure with a pronounced conceptual approach to communication. He is close to the mentioned artist, also active active uh, within the new art practice circle. After studying in Canada, Željko Borčić came back to Zagreb where he realized first world first psycho cybernetic super self portrait in 1973. This multimedia installation can be interpreted as expressing oneself through direct realization of the action by completely disregarding the traditional meaning of an artwork. The entire space of um, Studentski Center Gallery in Zagreb was filled with numerous artifacts, 
with uh, hints of uh, various influences realized in different media and divided into 86 thematic units. In this instance, the author again, uh, again refers to the traditional understanding of self-portrait, being aware of the social surrounding, expectation, education, ideals in conjunction with the ego take part in identity formation. By asking the question, who am I? written on computer cards considered modern at that time, Borchich concludes that the person whom uh, he considers himself to be is an invention of his imagination. A number of uh, exhibition elements fill the role of objectively examined places, events, people and objects which shaped Borchich's life and his uh, eye. The exhibition setup consisted of numerous photographs precisely uh, bodily measurements and photographs of certain parts of the body. The film sequence captured the camera lens, literally scrapping the surface of the skin. He collected bodily fluids, hair and teeth in laboratory containers and in addition to the number of con uh, completely personal details, the exhibition also featured <clears throat> the media he consumed favorite books while marking the participa particip participants in art events at the time that influenced him. The sounds from his everyday surrounding and the ones produced by the author himself were broadcasted in the gallery space. A major part of the film realized on the basis of the exhibition setup consists of the visitor to the exhibition and also contains footage of real world events. In his oeuvre, action from confrontational reaction from 1974 has a special role. The description of the work reads, and I quote, action number one, the last chance this year to become a famous person. Uh, December 13, 1974, 11 a.m., 1 p.m., Marshall Tito Square in front of the National Theatre. Croatian National Theatre. If you want to be photographed with the face of fa famous person instead of your own, you are invited to come to Marshall Tito Square in front of the Croatian National Theatre on December uh, 30, 1940, uh, 1974, from 11 to 1 o'clock, where you can choose the face you like best and photograph with it. The photograph is yours as a New Year's present. And the best ones will be printed in Start Magazine on January 14, 1975. This is your last chance this year to become a famous person." End of quote. Borchich Action for Confrontation Reaction belongs to a series of work realized in the public space in the medium of photography. It is subtitled The Last Chance This Year to Become a fi Famous Person and assigned an or uh, ordinal number one. This experiment in communication was realized through uh, enticing people to reveal their identity and take a stance over oneself in relation to others and their surroundings. According to the artist concept, this is achieved by putting on the mask of the famous person on one's own choosing amongst the ones offered. For instance, Brigitte Bardot, Jean-Paul Belmondo, Cassius Clay, etc. This is how they become equal participants in the realization of the project. The artist Željko Borčić is at the same time also a performer, while other roles have been doled out among the uh, uh, active participants and observers. Known and unknown individuals were captured by Slobodan Tadic, who photographed them uh, uh, with and without a mask in order to document the entire process of swapping or selecting ID identities with the goal to present it, if possible, in an exhibition. Although it was never expanded, the project in its entirety was supposed to contain a couple of small scale individual experiments related to the field of visual and psychological perception. Borchich was sure that people upon selecting their mask were not being guided by chance or scheme. He believed that invisible but psychological motives were at play as it is implied in the case of some of the photographed uh, individuals. 
This effort was also amplified by the fact that the photos of the participants were published in a top selling intro illustrated magazine start in which their ordinary everyday identities would generate no interest how, uh, whatsoever. In Southeast Europe, women artists use the philosophy of post-structuralism and its analysis to the position of power to explore their, uh, their only possible power, that of the private sphere, as a framework within which they could uh, question domination as well as topics such as submission and supremacy. In the 1970s, as part of the conceptual practice, Edita Schubert started to explore the medium. Her work is inseparable from her biography as a socio-cultural construct constituting her identity as an artist. Schubert often uh, exposed her biography and privacy in various phases of her life. She inserted photographs in laboratory dishes, photocopied or painted them. Her serious self-portrait be behind perforated canvas from 1977 starts with a photograph showing the slashing of, uh, of a wallpaper, a canvas painted in black and a triangle cutting secured with a simple adhesive bandage. This sort of wounding the canvas is a consequence of Schubert's artistic procedure. Having primed the canvas and covered it with paint, she started with a dissection. It is not unimportant to mention that she spent most of her professional career as a drawer at the Anatomy Institute of the Faculty of Medicine in Zagreb. Thus, Edita Schubert literally dissected the painting, folding the insides, segments, and fixing them with adhesive bandage in order to make room for further performances and for photographing them. The canvas became a folding screen, the starting phase of the photographic sequence linked to a series that frontally addressed the spectator, establishing a first person relationship and mediating her personal, corporal and haptic experience at the same time. Schubert's protocol of discarding motifs resulted in meaningless shots such as for instance, her photographs of antique pan panel doors, which she produced in the same year as her self-portrait. In this series, she repeatedly, uh, she repeated a seemingly unimportant motive, perhaps unaware of the existence of Gorgona photograph of empty window shop at that time. Schubert is important both for her employment of explicit explicit autobiograph uh, autobiographical discourse and the exhibition of photographic image following her early works in which she stimulated photographs by using the printing technique. Schubert resorted more than once to such multiplication of motifs combined with the strategies of appropriation, recycling and singling out the meaning of the particular object in order to transfer it to a different medium places in the box, stamp it, or confront it with other scenes. As early as in the 70s, a, a series of action and uh, events provided the citizens with the first instruction on how to behave in direct encounter with contemporary art practices in public space. But unlike the visible installation produced in the 70s, uh, Schubert entered the Zagreb city center with the artwork that was almost invisible. Uh, that was almost invisible, sorry. It had become evident in her earlier artworks that she specifically related the medium of photography to the reality. And even if that reality was rather uninteresting, such as the everyday walk from her home to the faculty of medicine where she always climbed the same stairs, Schubert launched into the public space by means of photography, which thus became its support. Following the idea of uh, W.J.T. Mitchell, who considered images as a sort of life forms, she used the medium as a system, its construction making it possible for the image to become alive. In Eastern Europe, I would mention Dora Maurer, whose work was also similar to that of Edita Schubert, characterized by an open structure, 
by research and process. And whereas Maurer in her parallel lines race depended on her uh, co-protagonist as they photographed and chased each other, which brought new interpretation into the semantic field, Schubert involved the passers-by, inviting them to, look, to take a look around her private space at objects from her everyday life and the exterior of the house she lived in. Small styrofoam installations, dia visors, were part of the larger hall, a showcase <clears throat> in, the, in which merchandise was offered for sale. The exhibition context became more complex and the spectator was now a structural element in anthropological space that included the street, the observer, and the, um, and the casual passers-by. Although the installation may remind of the stereoscopic shot, the depth was not achieved by optical illusion, but was mentally simulated by coupling the interior with the exterior. In this work, as well as in the many others, in fact, Schubert's identity remained on the margins of social uh, legitimacy and its power almost negligible. Um, the more almost invisible activities of the Gorgona group that I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, presentation mark the first period when high modernism was uh, prevalent. At the time of its emergence, their artistic practices went almost completely unnoticed by the public and other artists, as well as curators and critics. Nevertheless, Gorgona practices reveal an interest in reality, and these tendencies continued into the 70s. It was the significant, uh, it, it was the significant and analytical tendencies focused on the very uh, language of art, whose constituent factors were examined using a variety of methods. Some of these methods were carried out in public spaces initiated by the artists themselves. In the 70s, conceptual artists continued to experiment with photography, in part thanks to institutional support. While the reach of their actions were frequently limited, it was never forbidden, which reflects the environment of the time. Art as behavior, performances in public spaces that influence the new, mo uh, new modes of social and cultural conduct, as well as a whole range of self-reflective pra uh, practices creating lasting chance in a way that the conditions and functioning of art were understood. In the late 60s and especially in the 70s, photography became a field of knowledge, experience and memory whereby the visual aspects based on the question how was no longer in focus. This extended significance of photography was a result of ethical decisions and the need to introduce a new language. A certain number of experiments and concepts indicate the importance and variety of relationships that artists establish with social reality in which they are active and to which they make frequent reference. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>